this picture right here, uh, this is quite interesting. This is the, one of the FBI guys, and he's up inside Paddock's room, probably a day or two after the shooting, and he's got black gloves on and a binoculars there. So I guess he's using those binoculars to look down, and you can see the badge on the side of his pants. I just found that image interesting. This picture was captured also of that window, inside the window there where the FBI was. This just looks strange right here. This was captured from a video. Somebody, I guess in a helicopter or something, was recording a video. And I just thought this image right here looked quite unusual. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I just want to throw that out there. This picture was hard to find, but quite interesting also. It was captured Tuesday, about a day and a half, two days after the shooting. The shooting was, I think, Sunday night, so this was maybe the day and a half, two days after. And these are FBI walking into the Mandalay Bay Hotel there. Interesting picture right there. They're walking through the, hall the hallway. A whole bunch of them. Now, <clears throat> I think I might have solved something, and this gets quite interesting right here. These are two officers, and they are walking on the 32nd floor towards Paddock's room at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Now, in this picture, you see them facing the opposite direction of the person that's following them. In this next picture here, one of them looks back. The one on the left there, you can see he's got his hand out, and you can actually see his face. And he is pointing as if to say, come this way. And I believe that he's telling the photographer to follow him to the room to take the pictures. And I thought all along I said that I don't believe these pictures of the of Paddock's room were leaked. I thought they were captured. Some of them look kind of blurred and not real good HD. They did all this on purpose to show everybody these pictures. They wanted us to see these pictures for any number of reasons. But they only showed us what they wanted us to see. I said that all along. And this may prove it right here. Because take a look. It appears this guy is saying, come this way with his arm. And what's interesting about this is, look at the um, shoes on the guy with the hand out that's saying, come this way. He's got black shoes on and jeans. Note that, black shoes and jeans. Now, look at this picture of him right before that. Blue jeans and black shoes on the left side. You see that? The other guy has blue jeans but it tennis shoes. Now, in this next picture, this is one of the pictures that were taken, supposedly the leaked photos from inside Paddock's hotel room. And look at the left side over there. You see the guy has blue jeans and black shoes on. And those black shoes and blue jeans look exactly pretty much like the guy that's put his hand out saying, come this way. Black shoes and blue jeans. So I believe that officer right there is the one that was in the room with the cameraman when these pictures were taken. I feel pretty confident about that. As you can see, blue jeans and black shoes. And we know it's pretty obvious. I don't think it was a tripod or anything. So it's pretty obvious that the cameraman that took these pictures was with somebody. Because you can clearly see somebody in front of them with blue jeans and black shoes. And that's exactly what that officer has that's walking in the hall. It looks like saying, come this way. That's pretty interesting. Now, I want to show you this also. And some people have talked about this, but a lot of times some people say, oh, we talked about that already. Or other people talked about I don't just jump into something. I thoroughly investigate it. I want to make sure that there's no simple explanation for something before I start talking about it. And so sometimes I'll put stuff right out there instantly, but I always do that because I want um, 
let things settle a little and get more information and make sure that I'm very accurate and it's not something, like I said, that's a simple explanation. So this picture right here, of course, is of the room. And in this particular one, it just has a better view of what I want to talk about. Even though you see a steel shot of paddock kind of cut off at the top. But that's just put on top of this picture. Don't worry about that. Just pay attention to the top left side there. You see what looks like checkered, maybe a checkered blanket, black and white. This you can see pretty good of what people have talked about before, and I've noticed it also. It almost looks like a body that's there, maybe a female body. The legs out up and the arms kind of out, and maybe even some shoes on her below there. It looks like it could be a dead body wrapped in a checkered white and black blanket. That's a possibility. I'm not saying that's what it is. People have talked about this. And, I don't know, looking at this picture right here, I do say that is a possibility. Now, finally, this is very interesting also. I was able to obtain and find a video. We don't know of any video inside the hotel, right? Uh, and the hotel doesn't seem to want to release any of the video of Paddock coming in and out of the hotel, or the guns being brought in, or the police going into the room, or anything. But... Interesting enough, I did find this video, and it's not the best quality, because it seems like all the videos in regards to the shooting, even the ones down uh, at the concert, are lower quality, and all these shootings seem, seem to be that way. Don't ask me why, it makes no sense why. Uh, 2017, we can't get HD videos. Most people have HD good cameras, but we seem to always get these low quality videos. It's like the police get a hold to them, and they edit them. Or the, or they get a news crew or somebody to edit these things to where it's lower definition before they release them to the public. I don't know. It's just crazy. It really is. But this one, like I said, isn't the best quality, but interesting enough, this is supposedly a video that somebody captured of the police going towards Paddock's room before they entered it. Wow. Anyway, leave your comments and thoughts. I find this stuff quite intriguing and interesting. I'm going to continue to investigate this and show you more stuff. We're going to take the world back.